welcome to Paper Daisy Journals. It's Kylie and this video is a flip through of a junk journal um, that I've called Annie or Annabelle for long um, or Annie for short I should say. <laughs> it sounded a bit weird saying it the other way. Annie. Annie has 82 pages um, and measures 15 centimeters or six inches by 21 centimeters or eight and a quarter inches and on she is a fabric covered journal and I have actually um, ruffled the fabric this is an original will cigarette card but I don't like the branding so I just cover that with some antique um, ledger and that's a little ribbon um, applique or accent um, anyway Annie has uh, book corners and I've done some experimenting so Annie does have four signatures and I have used waxed linen thread um, to sew those signatures with a five hole pamphlet stitch and I've added these beads so I have seen this in a binding book um, because I am a bit obsessed with books and um, the example I saw had eight signatures and lots of little beads and it looked really amazing but I've simplified it however I have also seen someone do this who makes journals on YouTube who has an Etsy store but I've actually forgotten who it is so if anyone knows that um, artist please let me know because I will link their um, YouTube channel and I'll try and find the video where um, the beaded spine was featured so um, that's the spine I actually did that because I find a lot of the time spines are quite boring and they're the thing if you're putting a journal or a book on a shelf that you actually see the most so <laughs> I decided that's what inspired me to um, think of something to do that is the back so again ruffled fabric there is um, cardboard or um, he heavy paper or light card stock as the cover and spine um, but it is still quite um, flexible so you could definitely feel Annie out with more and um, her ruffles are designed to sort of wrap around as she gets a bit bigger so kind of like expanding pants um, yes <laughs> so um, that's I think I said 82 pages roughly I have um, tied Annie with a um, silk hand torn silk ribbon and inside I've just put lots of things <laughs> which if you've watched any of my other videos you were expecting that I'm sure so opening up um, this is Tim Holtz fabric I've actually used that also on the spine I managed to find that from a um, eBay seller in Melbourne Australia so I was very pleased it was only $10 postage. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely using it. A lace pocket and a little wax seal there. That's actually a little bird with an envelope, which I think is just gorgeous. And this is an original antique French luggage tag with a Victorian die cut stuck on. And it is quite delicate, so um, you can journal on the back. So getting this in and out of the pocket, just be very careful. Um, I've done that to challenge you because <laughs> life's not always meant to be easy. <laughs> um, and I have um, dyed the paper and I, I have um, I dabbled a little bit in stamping. I am not great at it, so it's very subtle, almost invisible. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Um, this is a piece of antique fabric that I've sort of fussy cut and sewn on. And that is velvet on that pocket. In the pocket, there is a 
um, a vintage spirit label from Souvenir de la France. I will um, link Jacqueline's Etsy store in the description. <laughs> and this is just a gorgeous piece of old French um, lecture. And I thought that was a nice touch if you wanted to do a little bit of collaging. It has a beautiful patina down the side of the page. Uh, some music, vintage music paper. And that's a journaling card I've made, machine stitched. I've um, hand dyed it and just sewn on a little lace cluster with a mother of pearl um, button. And a piece of lace just there. It feels really nice. This tuck spot has a little fabric ruffle with roses on it, which is super cute. And this is a journaling card you can write on the back. That's uh, vintage wallpaper, a bit of music paper, and a little um, rose cluster at the bottom there, just hanging down. Um, and this page... It was quite big, so I tore the edge and then it just looked kind of funny because I think I tore too much off. So I, I punched a hole and I, I put a little bit of um, lace in there and that is an idea that I got from Jacqueline Chimes. Uh, I have actually purchased Jacqueline's journals, so I will link her uh, YouTube channel in the description got lots to link so hopefully I remember if not feel free to remind me I often need some administration <laughs> um, because there's a lot going on in my little brain um, and I, I wasn't sort of sure um, why Jacqueline was doing that or and then I sort of realized that it kind of makes sense when you've got a funny page because it also creates a little tuck spot which is kind of cool so a bit of um, French vintage French trim and I have stapled that on so you can definitely take that off and make that into a, um, a tab and a little sticker a book page and there are two pockets here that you can put some ephemera in and I also have some beads on the middle signature and these beads here one two three and four um, are all antique and vintage from France so they're a bit special glass of course that is a little tuck there a little vine that I've sewn on some um, all of the ledger in here is actually original ledger a ruffle fabric ruffle and a really gorgeous I'll just hold this up a really gorgeous beaded charm there can you see that little rose on the heart isn't that adorable so that's dangling off there well I think it's adorable <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what to think but I think it's adorable a uh, little paper flowers sewn on there for something a bit interesting this is an original uh, Victorian calling card for Mr. and Mrs. Brown. And I think the flower just matched beautifully with one of my linen um, tags, my doily tags. This is a really cool piece of ephemera. I absolutely love the colour. It is vintage from 1939. It's actually a telegram and it's related to... A, it's like a postal vote for the town mayor. So there you go. Um, that's what postal voting looked like in the 30s. So I just tucked that in because I think that would be really nice with all the other um, bits to collage with. I actually got this idea of sewing lace to make a little pocket from my um, good friend Emily from Blue Linen Cottage. So just sewing the edges there and tucking a tag in. I think it looks beautiful. And that is one of my antique fabric tags. You can actually write on the back. It was actually stuck down 
um, and used in my um, printables. That's one of the original ones. This um, little paper clip is a velvet ribbon from Studio Marlowe. My friend Jude makes them, very clever. I will link her shop in the description. And underneath this lace, there's um, some fabric and there's a little yellow butterfly, which I thought was really cute. And I think aiming to have a little sip of nectar from the blossom tucked into this tag. So this tag does actually have a tuck spot made of lace. And it also has just a little, um, I guess, layered uh, lace tab at the top. I got that out <laughs> eventually. This is also something um, new and a bit exciting in my world of paper obsessive love. Um, it is marbled paper from an Etsy shop in Tasmania, Australia. I will link Louise's shop in the description box um, below. I have put in now two custom orders with Louise. I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feel. I have they that the the marbled paper I've managed to use because I'm very very funny about I find something I love and I just hoard it I hoard it and I file it I love rummaging like this through things <laughs> I must have been a librarian in my past life because um yes I do like to file and categorize things I have worked in libraries I've worked in university libraries while I was studying so there is a bit of a link there um but I'm not that old we had done away with physical cataloging. It had all been um, digitalized by that <laughs> point. Um, but yes, so my marbled papers, oh, I just have so much. <laughs> and can you ever have too much of something that you have, uh, just love? I don't know. Um, I'll let Louise be the answer of that. <laughs> anyway, so marbled paper is my latest thing. Uh, that's another piece of ledger. This is a little tag with a um, paper flower and on a fabric ruffle. And these are tea stained papers as well. This is a beautiful piece of onion skin paper. They used that um, it, for legal documents. And they were often watermarked, which you can actually, I don't know if you can see the watermark on there, but they used it because it was very, very thin. So when they were filing, <laughs> uh, they could actually fit a lot more in the file than if they were to use normal office paper. So that's onion skin paper. This is a beautiful piece of um, lecture from a book and one of my little tags handmade paper with a little die cut butterfly underneath a lacy layer you can write on the back possibly only with ballpoint pen i don't think handmade paper is fountain pen friendly um, in fact i know it's not because it just bleeds into the paper um, but you can still journal on the back of that and i just love the way that it sits on a little ruffled garden of um, I love those little roses um, this is a book page and I loved the imagery imagery and um, the the wording and I also love what is written it is um, religious so I've put it in the middle of the signature because um, if you don't like it you can easily take that out um, but I just loved the calligraphy and also what is written. This is another handmade paper tag that has been embossed and I've put a little bit of original French document on there and tea stained on the back. And I just love that little bow on the top there. That's a neat little tag. And just a little bit of fabric there ruffled on the pocket. I like the sound of that onion skin paper. <laughs> and uh, moving on, this is a little, um, it's like a palm card actually that I have dyed 
with tea and um, ink, pink ink, and I've just hand stitched around the edge. So you can journal on the back and I've hand stitched some little rosette trim on there as well. And that's some vintage wallpaper sewn on that pocket. Here is a library card, um, vintage library card. And I do, as I said, I have been a librarian. Um, we did actually use cards because I worked in short loans, which are loans where the book doesn't actually leave the library. You sit in the short loan area for two hours. Um, they're books that are typically were typically quite popular for students. So in order to um, make it fair and accessible. So I would actually have to write the time that the book was due back to the returns desk um, on a card, but it didn't look like this. <laughs> It wasn't an index card. Um, I do, I will link the shop that I got these um, butterflies from in the description box. Um, the name escapes me at the moment, so I do apologize um, for that. And it is fussy cut. And you know me with fussy cutting. I, I just don't really have the time or patience, but I've put some effort in. However, the antennae got cut off because that's too fussy <laughs> there's a limit to my fussy so i've just drawn some on so the butterfly does have antennae don't panic that's just in a little um fabric pocket and it's kind of a mini double pocket or a little triple pocket if you have tiny things um, that you would like to put in there a little bit more stamping. I think I've I've managed to forget the other bits of stamping. Probably best not to draw too much attention. Um, this is a lace ruffle. I have um, decorated the paper clips um, because why not? And in this pocket there is a really beautiful green coloured piece of ephemera savings bonds from 55 to 65. 1955 to 1965 that is 3,200 pound I'm thinking that is um, quite a bit of money it looks like a tax receipt so that would be in a year this is a glassine envelope it's one of those things where I, I had a whole bunch of them but I wasn't sure how to use them in a journal so uh, while I was embossing to my life, <laughs> to the end of my days, I did a lot of embossing um, all at once because when you get it all out, you just need to make the most of it. And I embossed like a Swiss dot texture onto here with a label and that's an original um, postage stamp that is empty and you can actually untie the little yarn bow. So that just slips in there and I think the green sort of um, go together. That's another one of those little um, tucks and an Edith Holden playing card. I've actually put something on the back this time so you can journal on it. Maximising the journal space in Annie. She's got, she is bulging with journal space and beautiful things as well. I think there's a good balance in this journal. Um, a little bit of fabric. This could actually be used as a tuck spot. And in here there is a, this is my favourite um, ledger page. Uh, I'm, I say it all the time, but if, if you are a new subscriber, hello and welcome. I should start saying that. Um, so I'm sorry if I've missed anyone. Um, but this is my favourite ledger because it is handwritten with fountain pen absolutely divine not easy to find um, this is a library card holder and i have stamped it and embossed it and that is an original playing card and i have put some tea stain paper on the back so that you can journal on that as well and that just tucks in there 
Um, this is a little uh, a piece of um, ephemera. It's an order form, I think, for olive oil. So I've just stapled a little um, piece of trim onto there. That was probably an afterthought because I would normally machine sew things on. Um, but it's too difficult to try and get an entire journal under the sewing machine. Um, but I have used a Tim Holtz a mini... Um, I don't know, he has funny names for things, but it's literally his mini stapler. Um, so it's not a very offensive back to the staple. Uh, this is a little tulip applique I've sewn on there. And this is a gorgeous ruffle with that yellow butterfly. And I just love how that matches all in together. This is an envelope and it is embossed tea stained paper with a little um, crochet um, and I've machine stitched that on. I'm very reluctant to undo it because it means I have to do it back up but I will undo it today. I will just show you how I have done this. So that is some twine that I have wrapped around like a little present. It is attached to um, the bit of crochet and then um, that unfolds, so the envelope unfolds. I've not glued it, so you can do a little bit of secret journaling inside. And that's um, beautiful wedding paper, so a textured um, wedding invitation paper. Because, um, actually that was upside down, so that's how you open the envelope. I just love paper, so yes any opportunity to um, buy something a bit special and I take it okay so that I will fix that <laughs> please don't despair whoever buys um, Annie this is a book page and a little bit of that marbling marbled paper there and a bit of fabric a little tuck spot there with a tag that I have um, dyed and I have just stapled a little flower on with the word memories. And I'll just tuck that up back up there. And this is another um, beaded charm or dangle hanging off the side there. Oops, oh no, I've just pulled up my I actually keep this doily on my table so that I can um, I know that the, the journal's in frame and it's not moving around in case I have to lift it up, but obviously I've lifted that up with the journal and now it's all just gone. It's all messy, but I'm just going to push on because I'm way too far into this video <laughs> to start again. Um, that's a lace ruffle. I will see. I won't be able to move it now. I feel like I should, but I'll just leave it where it is. Uh, a little bit of lace hanging off the edge there and this is some gorgeous cotton paper you can use a ballpoint pen on the back that's a, a die cut and I've stitched around the edge so that's a cute little heart um, tucked in there and this is one of my original um, postage stamp tags little blue birds all over it um, because I seem to have to have birds in my journals. I'm not sure why. So that's just tucked into this pocket, which is made out of vintage kimono silk, um, which is embroidered and it's shiny and it's, and it's so thin you can actually see through it like vellum. It's amazing fabric. Um, and we're on to the last signature. And decorated paperclip there with some um, lace, cotton lace stitched on. I love this envelope. Um, it, it went to Norway. Um, it, the postage is a half penny. So I, I'm not sure what country it's come from. But look how gorgeous that handwriting is. And it's actually sturdy enough for you to... Um, Put some of your bits and pieces in there um, it's not it's another one of those things I'm a little bit reluctant to let go of but I'm getting better 
at um, putting things in journals. <laughs> Very good at collecting, but I'm getting better at um, putting things in journals. That's an original receipt, but it's actually a blank one. This is a nice giant pocket here and it's made of beautiful fabric I've just stitched on so you can definitely fit a lot in there and because it is so deep um, whatever you put in there should be able to, to stay in there it, it does it is a bit loose um, and a little bit of that wallpaper it's one of my favorite tags this is on handmade paper again um, and it, this printable is from Farmerage it's the um, Redolt. I'm not sure how you actually pronounce um, the artist's name, but it's his roses. He's very famous, so I've probably said it wrong. Um, I will have to educate myself on how to um, pronounce his name correctly. But that is on, um, I've printed that onto fabric. And I managed to print, I think, about six pages of them, and then it broke my printer. So <laughs> the fabric feel is a rare thing uh, because once I've used all of them, they're gone. <laughs> I will not be printing on um, printable cotton again. It said printable. Um, anyway, uh, that's a little tag there with a little... Um, ribbon flower from Blue Linen Cottage and uh, some of this lace is also from Emily's shop as well and so is this ledger I think actually which I am just absolutely love um, that would have been a very fine fountain pen as well a book page and on this side there is a pocket and on this side, there was a pocket that was empty, but I decided um, to put in some of Louise's gorgeous um, marbled paper. So the marble paper on the back, you can write on that and um, a little ruffle and some music paper there. So that's tucked into that pocket. And I just think those colors just go beautifully. A little piece of Swiss lace I had to include, of course, and I think it picks up the colours on this ledger really beautifully. And uh, some rotary on lace trim on that pocket, and there's the chubby little birds. I'm not sure why, but they made it into the journal. I don't have a lot of bird ephemera. Um, maybe I've used it all already. I'm not sure what to do with the next journal. Um, I'll have to find some, I guess. This is a pocket. I've um, I had a whole lot of beautiful wedding envelopes, not for my own wedding. They're all different colours because I just, um, I think one of my favourite paper supplies was having a sale. So I just got a whole lot of different coloured envelopes. I think this is a very light blush pink and I had a whole lot of Stemperia rice paper that I wasn't collaging with so I decided to um, sew it on to half an envelope so I tore the envelopes in half glued them like glued them shut tore them in half punched out um, half a circle and then I sewed the rice paper on the top to make a pocket it's a double pocket so there's a big pocket here and there's also a pocket behind. So I've glued that onto the page and that's a really beautiful postcard uh, from Europe. And look at that handwriting. Sloping the wrong way as a primary educator. Um, you would have gotten in trouble doing that when I was at school. However, anything goes I guess and another um, beaded dangle there on lace and I've just realized I forgot I've got little beads on this signature as well so oops and there that's an antique glass one that heart shaped bead and that one in the middle there is also an antique rosary bead 
I would lift the journal up to show you closer, but I, I'm then worried if I put it back down again, it's not going to be in frame. Um, yes, I was going to do uh, beads on all four of the signature strings, but then I thought, oh, that's a lot of bead um, because I had beads hanging off and, you know, other little beads here and there. And then I had a laugh and realized you can never have too many beads, can you? I don't think so, especially if you're going to stick them onto lace. What a combination. Okay, so this um, is a vintage wallpaper tag. This has a funny story, actually, because this was meant to be my previous journal cover, um, and that journal was Penny, but Penny came a gutsa. I overworked her cover, and she started to tear a little, so... Rather than uh, recycling Penny, I turned her into tags. So this is a Penny tag, and she's very, very cute. It's my favourite wallpaper because it has a little bit of rose gold. All of the stems are actually rose gold, and they're my favourite um, colours, pinks and blues and greens. But those exact tones are my favourite. So that is Penny. Um, not Penny the Journal, Penny the Tag. And again, an applique just sewn on to make a little pocket. I'm just loving that. So thank you, Emily, for giving me that idea. Um, and this is one of my um, antique luggage tags from my printable. 1868, and I think up the top here, 1878. I just adore the different styles of handwriting they would have all been shown um, at school how to write a particular way but of course everyone ends up developing their own um, but it's just beautiful so that's in a lacy pocket at the end here and this is a wax seal with a little rose on it and a little bit of rose Brodeon glaze. So some rose squared going on there. Um, and I've just pinned that there. So easy to move around the journal if you wish. And that is the end. So that is Annie or Annabelle for long. <laughs> um, yes, I really enjoyed um, making Annie. I think Annie is getting probably closer to my style it takes a little while um to develop your own style that rhymes i love it <laughs> still still a kindergarten teacher at heart um but i feel i'm i'm getting there i'm not quite there yet um but i'm getting very close to my own style of um, journal making but I am loving those 